New Zealand, I'm Legacy. And I'm Aroha. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of woolen graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it. And the latest weather update. But first off, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside down house which rests on its rooftop. Inside there, there's uh, beds screwed into the ceiling, upside down wardrobes, an upside down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Nathan. Thanks, I'm here with the owner of the house, Travis, and the builder of the house, Travis. Tell, uh, what made you decide to build this upside down house? I like to be unique and different. I have always loved crazy art and textures. What's some of your, uh, what's your favorite thing about living in a house that's completely upside down? I love sleeping on the roof. Also the roof is on an angle so the floor is like a slide. And people need, and people need a ladder to break in. What are some of the challenges of living in this house? When you turn the tap on it floods the house. And toilet, and going to toilet is a bit of a mission. Headaches from the confusion, cooking is also really rough. Well thank you so much for joining us. Back to you Legacy and Aroha. Now for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter, Sophie. Hello, I'm Sophie, and with me is Jono, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So, what made you want to invent an invisibility cloak? Initially, we were inspired by Harry Potter, and it got us thinking. We would never have to worry about a bad hair day ever again. Can you show me how the invisibility cloak works? What do you hope the cloak will be used for? I, we hope to help science by observing animals. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that makes things very clear. Thanks for joining us. Back to you in the Thanks, Sophie. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti crimes is covering the country. Thanks to an underground gang known as the Mid Midnight Knit Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering trees, branches, and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say, we are stitching together a case, but there's no real pattern to, crime, to the crime. We cross now to Jordan with an exclusive interview. What led you into the dark underground underworld of knitted graffiti? It all started as a form of therapy for me after not making it into the All Blacks, the peer pressure to get into the, to getting to the graffiti knitting was huge. Do you see yourself as a criminal? Why and why not? No, because Grandma doesn't and Granny would never commit a crime. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else would you like to graffiti with your woolens? On my list is retirement homes, schools, parliament, and the Sky Tower. Thanks for your time. Back to you at the news desk. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Elijah. What's in store? Uh, to tomorrow's weather. In Auckland there may be a mix of fear of conditions and unfair conditions. There may be conditions but they just have to accept them. Uh, there will be no uh, weather at all for Hamilton. It takes a short holiday but it's expected to go back this weekend. Wellington will have another capital day. With no wind at all, 
So keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfair, uh, friendly until a late morning. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everyone likes the sun. That's all from me now. It's back to the uh, news desk. Thanks, Elijah. Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thanks, you. Oh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Aroha. And I'm Legacy. For Wake Up New Zealand, goodbye. goodbye.